Welcome to Psychology of the Daf. We are in Gemara Yoma, Daf Mem Aleph. Today we will talk about healthy guilt versus toxic despair. Our Gemara Noman Bays discussed as the ritual where the crimson thread was tied between the horns of the scapegoat and another crimson thread was tied around the neck of the goat that was to be slaughtered. Once the goat was slaughtered, the crimson thread was hung from the entrance of the sanctuary. If the Jews were forgiven, while the goat was being thrown off the cliff, miraculously, the red thread hanging by the entrance to the sanctuary would turn white. The Jews would be able to see this. There's a fascinating Yerushalmi in uh, Mesechus Shabbos, Perak Tes, Halacha Gimel, which describes some interesting traditions about this process. Originally, the Jews would tie a crimson thread to the windows of their own houses, and it would miraculously turn white. However, because it no longer happened reliably to all, and so people should not be embarrassed, they discontinued the process. After that, they began the custom of having the crimson thread hang from the entrance to the sanctuary. But since after time it also did not turn white reliably, they discontinued that practice as well. The final and remaining practice was simply to leave the crimson thread between the horns of the scapegoat. As it was tumbling off the cliff, there still would be a chance to see if it turned white. Shem Mishmuel in Zohar Bris Aleph raises the obvious question. Why were the sages trying to protect the Jewish people from the truth? It is important feedback to know that forgiveness has not been achieved. This way, there still would be a possibility for people to work harder, go deeper into the, to themselves, and still repent. Why would the rabbis hold this back? Shem Mishmuel feels the lesson from this is so powerful that he felt compelled to write it in Yiddish instead of Hebrew. He said, Zaizenen gefallen by zich und ganzen, which means, if my Yiddish serves me well, that they would have had a complete and utter emotional downfall. And he says this would not allow them to achieve repentance at all, only hopelessness. My friends, I believe these words speak for themselves about the line between healthy guilt and toxic despair.